Greetings, fellow traveler. I want to remind you how important it is to invest in your life. I'm not talking about money or no material things. I'm talking about investing time and getting to know yourself. For myself, along my journey, what's been helpful is uh, documenting what I'm experiencing, what I'm going through. Now, that can be in uh, recordings on voice recorders. That can be writing in my journal. That could be even recording videos and me talking to myself about myself. doesn't matter. And it's for your eyes only. That last part is very important. Because once you put it into the public domain, you can get caught up with the guilt, shame, impressions, criticisms that come from outside forces. So to have an ongoing dialogue with yourself that is outside of your mind and recorded or documented can be very helpful. I I took some time over the past month and for a brief period, I uh, stumbled across a journal that I had. And during that brief period, I decided to read some of the passages. What I did not know is in reading those entries, the answers were always there to the problems that lie ahead. The answers were there, clear as day, because the problems weren't new. I was simply getting accustomed to dealing with the problems. Now, many a times as I went over the entries, those problems were displayed with uh, the relationships that I have with certain people and the dynamics in those relationships. But I was taken aback at how what I deem to be newfound wisdom for myself was actually an answer that was dormant in me for so long that I learned to shut it out. I found it helpful. I did not beat myself up. I did not criticize myself. I acknowledged how wise I was back then and how much wiser I am now for acting on those solutions that were already there. Now this has changed the relationships that I do have in my life. That's okay. I've made my peace with that. But some of those relationships were either relationships I thought would be lifelong. Uh, got, I got married within that time. Going through a divorce. Don't bother me one bit. I got close with certain family members. And I cut ties with most of them. Don't bother me one bit. I finally built the courage to act upon the solutions that were always there. That is the only difference between me now and the journal entries from 10 years ago. See, I was brave in different areas of my life to the level of fearlessness. But there were certain ideas and beliefs. There were certain uh, relationships. They weren't holding me back. I was holding myself back from dealing with them. So I was conditioning myself more and more to accept what I did not want. I was conditioning myself more and more to quiet that inner voice that's within me. Over that 10 year period, I learned how to honor that voice, regardless of the pain that it might inflict. And not more so about the pain it would inflict on others because that's what held me back. It was about the pain that I was inflicting on myself that I had become accustomed to. Wasn't cool. So it was time to change it up. And then going along my way, I found a way to not only trust myself, but to support myself, to build myself up, and to lead myself in the direction I would like to go. Instead of being led by what I'm supposed to do. Because when I hear that word supposed to do, that's 
that's an outside force imposing its rules or ideas upon me. So when I talk to myself, I don't say you're supposed to do this. You have to do that. No, there's no need. I simply discuss with myself and say, okay, which way would you like to go? What choice would you like to make? What direction are we headed to now? See, that's freedom. Within myself, I can speak to myself freely. It's only when I involve the outside where rules, stipulations, and things of that sort come about. Now, I'm sharing this with you because I'm, once again, I, I say this a lot that I don't have all the answers. I can only tell you something to help me or insights that I found along my journey and hopefully something is beneficial for you. But what I realized in reading those journal entries from 10 years ago is not only were the answers always there, but because of the choices that I made along the way, I could never go back to that version of myself. And in realizing that, I could never go back to certain situations I used to place myself in. Now, I could use the term I've outgrown those, but no. I would choose to say that I've taken power from those situations, so they have nothing to offer me. Now, that can be with, uh, I mean, that can be in every area of life. I could say I've seen it in my careers that I've chosen. I've seen it in the skill sets that I've chosen. I've seen it in relationships that I had. I've seen it in uh, romantic partners, friends, family. It's all the same. I'm not deeply rooted in the old idea of myself. No. I honor that portion of my experience and I move forward knowing that, okay, I've had that experience and I'm looking forward to so many more and enjoying the one that I'm having now. And I've made my peace with that. Better yet, I'm stronger for it. I'm healthier for it. I'm happier for it. And that's okay. Now, uh, another insight that came about during this uh, moment of reflection was there's nothing wrong with. I want to make sure I choose my words properly. There's nothing wrong with being comfortable with where you are in life. I would like to hope that one becomes aware enough to know that there are so many experiences out here that we can create that there's not really a reason to settle. I'm not talking about selling with a partner or selling for a job, unless that's something that you feel is a hiccup for you. I'm simply saying, don't get caught up in survival mode. Remind yourself that we are here to thrive. We're here to create something of new, not hold on to the things of old. And in doing that, we get to see how limitless this reality really is. Now, along that journey and carving a new path or going about it your way doesn't mean it's going to be easy or simple because, no, you're stepping out of your comfort zone. But that's OK. That's what this life is about. This is a reminder to trust in you. And if you've been at a certain destination, a certain place too long, physically or mentally, document it. If you've done it in the past, go back and look at that information because you've always had the answers. And if you pay attention to what you said in the past or what you did in the past, even if you haven't documented, but you have a, a decent enough memory to be able to reflect, you'll see that you always knew what you had to do. That's it's never ending. That's how it will always be. As we go along our journey, we expand more and more unless. Unless we allow ourselves to be so deeply rooted in a version of us that no longer serves us. That we don't believe there's another way. 
these are the thoughts i uh, love to hear your comments i hope this helped at least one today until next time be blessed and please don't forget to smile